ticket number 14 is very important. We have done a lot of tickets where you go to a company and if they are using laptop or desktop and whatever they do, that's kind of like inside a company or maybe they're just uh, having some issues inside a machine. So that's like operating system level stuff. And then you work on products where you still have to work inside that operating system level type of skills. But now we're moving towards what are users using that you're going to get a lot of calls. So when you give them a perfect laptop and everything is working nice and clean, there's no issues with operating system, but usually they don't work inside the applications of a laptop. Like they don't open task manager. They don't go inside a C drive and try to do a lot of things. No, they use applications. And what are this type of applications? What are we using currently in 2023 and 24 and upwards? We use cloud applications such as emails. Or you, you have been using that, like email, you go to the email, you open Gmail or uh, Outlook, that's a cloud application. Microsoft controls the application, and then you have access to it, and you can do whatever you can do in the settings area. From our fundamental IT courses and IT support skills courses, I assume you have already, uh, you already took that and you already know about the cloud applications such as emails, OneDrive, and Exchange Online. In most of the companies, when you start applying to these type of positions, you're definitely going to see some sort of emails, accounts, Office 365 experience, OneDrive, Exchange Online. This is something that you're going to come across in most of the descriptions. And not only that, when you actually start working, immediately you're going to get this type of tickets like we got a user, set their email, set their OneDrive and do certain things. Now, of course, you don't need to go too much uh, into details about Office 365. Like, let me mention this as well. You can even land a job just in F Office 365. So if you become an expert in Office 365 and you really like this stuff, uh, in future, you can just go inside Office 365 and learn a lot about it and become an Office 365 administrator. So you can totally change your career by going into Office 365 because it's a cloud-based application. They give you email access, uh, file sharing, a lot of uh, features are out there right now that companies are using. So you got to ask yourself this question. If I started working in a company, 90%, they are going to be using something like this. So we're going to target something that is accepted by the whole world. Office 365 is known by every company out there. Even if they're using a different service, that's, they're using some sort of service that is little alternative to Office 365, but the majority of the companies are going to be using this type of service, Office 365, or service from Google. We are going to focus on Microsoft. So what we have to learn here is the focus here. You're learning Office 365 only at IT support skills level. You're not becoming an Office 365 admin. So don't do this mistake by going into it and then losing your focus you are the it person and you just need to learn office 365 at the level where you can just help user you're not going to get into specific applications and become a expert in that type of applications because then you're off your skill set and then you may want to go for different type of jobs then so now that is cleared our it manager submitted a ticket we have recently adopted Office 365 for our users, and I need you to create accounts for Adam, Amy, Monica. Please grant them access to all Office 365 applications and ensure that they have email access through Office 365. When she say or he say all, that doesn't mean that you give them admin access. This means whatever they have bought in their license, maybe you should just give them that access. Sometimes you go to a company, they will specifically say, give them specific application and accept these two or three or four. So you again have to talk to your managers, uh, whoever is in charge of Office 365 to guide you properly and you just don't blindly assign licenses to people. So let's go ahead and create Office 365 users and just go over some of the basic tickets and the uh, future tickets are also going to be related to cloud. So because when I mention it's cloud, remember cloud, you don't have to go to a lab and open another browser to do something that is cloud related. Remember that we are not getting into a computer and opening a browser to do something in the browser. A lot of time I see this mistake. So you don't have to do it here. You can open your browser, open a new tab, open portal.office.com or 
type login.microsoftonline.com and then type the username and password that we have given you. So again, this is exactly the same concept. Somebody have created you just like an Active Directory. We have created you as a help desk. So here, somebody have to do that first step to give you the admin rights so you can add other accounts. So we have done that for you in this case. So you, have, you will get this username and password from us and you will go ahead and sign in. So when you type portal.office.com and you log in, you are in Office 365 uh, through the web browser. So this is where you can come over here and you see how I already got this dashboard available to me. And now again, of course, we're not doing Office 365 training here. We're doing a ticket. So where can you go and actually learn about a lot about Office 365? You can go back to our courses in JSS and find Office 365 courses. And also in your IT support section, there, the third course is also about uh, Office 365. And then we have uh, single courses related to Office 365 because we're not training here. So you're going to go ahead and open uh, your, your apps right here and you're going to click on admin. Once you click on admin, you will click on users and here we have the user section. So we're going to click on active users. So you see with this, we also uh, added a lot of dummy users that you probably don't need to use right now. But let's go ahead and uh, see what we can do. The first one you know, we have here in our ticket is uh, Adam. So let's go ahead and click on add user. And you see now things are, if you remember Active Directory, it's kind of like a similar uh, process, but this is a modern way. That's why we are called, we're calling company modern or hybrid. Hybrid is when somebody have Active Directory users and then they uh, automatically bring them here is hybrid, but we're not doing that. We're directly adding people into cloud right now so then we can just play around with the access. So here we're going to type Adam, last name JSS, display name Adam JSS is fine, and the username is Adam. And here it says automatically create a password so you can do that or you can create your own password. I will probably create my own password and keep it one password just for you to log in easily when you do a lot of other things. Now keep in mind when you're creating this password, do remember it. You do have admin access. You can always come back and change it. But if you remember it, it will make it easy for you. You cannot use a very basic password. So you do have to use a little strong password for Microsoft Office 365. So let's go ahead and click next here. And here is the license part. So when our manager told us that assign a full license is what they meant is you just click here and then you see how 67 application got assigned to this user. We're not giving this user an admin access. These are uh, these are products. So if you click on it, you can see what we are giving this user. Uh, Azure, uh, common, uh, you know, all this stuff, customer, logbox, there's so many different things going on. Microsoft 365 Defender, Booking, and the most important one at the end, we were told that we also make sure they grant them access to application. Please ensure that they have email access. When they say email access, this means they're talking about exchange. So you'll have to find Exchange and making sure that they have Exchange access. So Teams is there. That's an important one. A lot of people use it. Uh, Microsoft Intra ID is Microsoft Azure. And we will talk about this later on in different tickets uh, when we get there. Uh, let's find uh, the Exchange here. And I'm trying to look for that. Sometimes it can go up and down. Uh, let's see where it is. It's always uh, on the bottom. but. I'm having a hard time finding that. They move things around. Let's do exchange like that. Exchange. There you go. So sometimes if you can't find things in, there's too many things going on, you can do control F and then you can just type the letter. So right now, exchange is also enabled. So by doing this, this means that this person will also have email access. So I'm going to click next here. And this is the role part. We are not told to make this uh, user an administrator. So I can come here and change this user to more admin uh, access level role. So you remember the account that you have, uh, you have a global administrator rights right here. In most cases, they will give you a help desk account or something like that where you can have a less uh, privilege account. So you can just do adding a user and things like that, but you probably can delete and things like that. So you see how things are very easy when it comes to cloud. And here you can type the title, stuff like that, and play around with this if you want to, just for more practice. But uh, here we are basically um, going to click on finish adding this user.
So this is how easy it is to add a user in Office 365. All you got to do is, of course, there's the rest of the things you can do. Send email to Adam JSS to install Microsoft Office 365 apps and things like that. It really depends on the company, how far they can go with adding a user, templates and things like that. They, they will tell you that. But for uh, getting this ticket done, you already know how to add a user in Office 365. You just added a user in a cloud application. So now we're going to go ahead and close this and Adam is added over here. So go ahead and do the same thing for other uh, three users, Emmy and Monica. So finish that and then come back and then I'm going to show you how to test uh, uh, email access so then we can finish this ticket and move on to more tickets related to cloud. So once you do this, how would you test that you have created an email account for them, for the users? So in this case, just pick one. Uh, and just test it. You can come to Adam right here because you added that Adam account and you created other ones to Amy and Monica as well. Once you come over here, you see that number one uh, on the on 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 your um, system, when you basically check Adam on the top, make sure that they have the full address right here. So once they have this address is correct, you can click on mail. And this is where it tells you that uh, Adam have email access because it shows you mailbox storage and all that information. So go ahead and do this for other users as well. Click on Amy and then once you go to Amy and then click on mail and make sure that also Amy can see the same thing. If you do not see mail and you don't see this information, this means this person do not have that uh, application uh, assigned. So what you need to do, you can go back to licenses and apps and make sure when you click this, this should be fully checked and then check if the Microsoft Exchange is enabled, which is Microsoft Exchange Online Plan 2. This is checked. If you uncheck it, that will go away. So this is how it's, e it's so easy in the cloud to give people certain type of application access uh, very, very quickly. So once you do this, uh, you simply have to come back over here to submit a ticket to us because you have done the part over here. So you need to click one account, just open Adam account. And then inside the Adam account, click on mail. So this will show us that you have created Adam and you also uh, have given correct access because they have uh, full permission. So you need to take a screenshot. So Windows comes with a snipping tool, the one that I just opened, you can click on new and take a screenshot. And also if you don't have a snipping tool, go to Google and find out how to take a screenshot from your browser. That should be your another skill for you. I mean, our labs are not gonna be there for you to take a screenshot automatically, right? So you need to also learn how to take screenshot for troubleshooting purposes when you share things with other people or users, you need to know how to take a screenshot. So Windows comes with snipping tool. You should find something online if you don't have it. Uh, and that is gonna be your homework. So go back once you have the screenshot available, exactly this one. Make sure you take a full screenshot, go back to your application and start assignment and submit your screenshot here and type uh, here, uh, what did you learn in this? And if there's anything you want to share over here. And then if you're looking for interview prep related to Office 365 on how to add a user and accounts and how to give licenses, that will be here right here in the interview prep. Next tickets, we're gonna go deeper into Office 365 and scenarios where you can now learn more about other things that comes with this type of applications. Um, so we can finish the cloud skills as well. Um, and that will give you a really good and nice modern level skills uh, when you go out in the market. And then when you work, you'll feel very comfortable.